If you require help on your travels, I offer you my sign. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. If you require help, blessing. Silver cat ring. Prevents, yeah, okay. Prevents da damage from falling. And the age of gods, or, po or possibly just following it. An old cat was said to speak a human tongue. Mm, with the voice of an old woman and the form of a fanciful immortal. Uh, could be a reference to Alvin, I suppose. Ah. Maybe this is where you go to buy the set. Mm, not sure. No, it's not available yet. Okay, okay, okay. I need to do something else then. Mm. Ashen one. I've missed out on so much stuff. But oh, speaking of stuff. Um. Oh man, last. Um, or couldn't be the same video, I guess, but <laughs> last time I played the game, I um, kind of gave the Firekeeper the black mm, I, eyes of darkness, the black eyes, and I thought that I maybe screwed myself the, um, big time. So I went online, I, I succumbed to the to my curiosity. Ah. Yeah, there, okay, there we go. Ooh, sweet. A new one, yet another set. That makes me so happy. Okay, uh, but yeah. So I checked online, and there wasn't much information regarding the eyes. I mean, there was, but not. It wasn't exactly an answer that one of the answers I wa I wanted, or it was even seeking. I wanted to know if I had, you know, messed up big time, but it only said some things regarding it that those eyes apparently alter some or open up the path to an ending which we kind of yeah she asked us if she wanted to if we wanted to like live in a world without fire so I guess they are, yeah, you know makes sense makes sense yeah um right oh there you are I'm afraid I've involved you in my affairs over a little promise at that my sincerest thanks for your assistance no problem at last, my grandfather will rest in peace, and I can die. But there is one last. May I take a vow to serve you as a knight? Oh, yeah, I absolutely. Will I will accept. Why wouldn't we? Oh, I am most grateful. Uh, no, I, I am. Cirrus, do hereby serve as your faithful knight, wherever, whenever I am needed. My loyalty shall never waver. Okay. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. A little sound skip there, hmm. If I may ever be, I bless. Okay. Can I buy you sit down? Because that 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 is one kick-ass set. Hmm. No, doesn't look like it. I'm in no hurry, really. <laughs> but yeah, that's when you know when you're playing Dark Souls when you go online to find information about a game and you still can't find anything like that's that's priceless by the way I have all right I spent it all I had a chunk of souls before but and I got that from co-oping <laughs> welcome home speak um. very well then to take mm. yeah farewell Ashen. Mm. we'll see each other again Uh, apparent now I know how to progress uh, Leo's quest. Now in your bed and come on. <laughs> and I will do that as soon as I'm done with Sirius's quest. I'm not really sure how to finish that one, but mm. okay. I've done these two things. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I think um, I think that's it. Can't really think of anything else that I need to do. Speaking of Osiris and the consumed king, he had a son called Ocelot. And this is the mother.
that Queen Alothric married to the former king Osiris. Hmm. Was initially revered as a goddess of fertility and bounty. Hmm. After giving birth to Ocelot, her youngest, she quietly disappeared. Okay, Osiris was a... He's a dragon now, but I guess he turned into a dragon. Um, how or why, I'm not really sure, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so he had a baby with the Queen of Lothric, which, considering the item description and the item itself, could that have been Guinevere? That I don't know. However, um, she had a baby. Hmm. She had a baby, Ocelot. I'm not sure who Ocelot is, where he is. Hmm. But it is interesting. The fact that Osiris ruled here, and, uh, or maybe not ruled, but, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I mean, I assume that if the Queen of Lothric had a baby with um, Osiris before he became a dragon, then I guess Ocelot would be human as well, but if it was post, I, I, not very likely. The king had gone mad, though. He seemed to be holding the child, even though Ocelot was cl clearly not present, or maybe he was invisible, but I don't know, I doubt that. Profane capital, Yorm the Giant. Oh, no, wait. Ooh, right, bro. Speaking of profane capital, I think I missed a couple of ashes here. So I'm gonna go back here for just one second, and then we'll go to uh, the dragon. Dragon. Uh, yeah, no, I guess dragon statue, really. I mean, that's what it is. Uh, yeah, okay, let's continue down here. Yep, this is right. This is. I'm, I'm doing. I'm going the right path. The problem is I don't, I'm not really sure of where the the ashes I'm looking for are, so, mm. Speaking of which, let me read the item description for the sunset uh, set. <laughs> sunset Helm. Helm of Hodric, Holy Knight of the Sunless Realms. Sunless Realms. Irithyll, or is that a separate place? This light gold helm, named for its sunset hues, is now faded and wrapped in tainted rags. The sorry fool was known to wander the battlefield as a crazed, crazed ghoul, lashing out at a friend and a foe alike. Ugh, sorry to hear that. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it says the same thing. Hmm. All right, he. Damn it! I'll pull him over here. Ah, two. Oh, back up. There we go. No way! <laughs> and I got a drop. Lucky me. Okay, let's see. Stone torch. Stone torch spear, wielded by gargoyles of the profane capital. The profane flame, which never goes out, imbues this weapon with a fire attack. Wait. Th that's insane. That's impossible. If the flame never goes out, 
then what the hell is sustaining the flame? Because everything, like the fire, is has to be sustained by something in Dark Souls. Otherwise, it'll just be snuffed out. But here it's somehow... Hmm. Oh, okay, I forgot. Okay. Completely for Two guys have died here? Oh, they pulled these guys, maybe? Perhaps, not sure. Oh, oh god. Oh god. <laughs> dusk ring, okay. Why is the dusk ring in here? Dusk crown ring. Reduce the spell. Oh god, no. Xanthus ashes, sweet. Okay. Uh, bonfire last. Last. Oh, oh god. Okay, so my plan kind of backfired here, but never mind that. We'll um... ah, no, 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 no. Damn, now I don't remember what the fastest way. How do we get to that statue in the fastest way? It is no. Wait a minute. We can just go to Irithyll Dungeon and take the elevator that just to the right. Place. Right. Um. Okay, okay, good. Man, the level design, man. It's great, but it does confuse me sometimes. Actually, speaking of level design, for the most part, it's been... Well, not for the most part. It's been great, but... Um, ah, I was wrong. Damn, damn. It's in such an asshole place. Oh god, I hate this. Okay, so where do we go now? Uh, I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? I don't remember how to get there the fastest way. Damn it. Think, think, oh, damn it. What's up here? Those guys? It's a dead end. There's nothing here. Damn it. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. That's cool. We'll just have to... Um, Huh? Uh, I, uh, <laughs> wow, I am... I'm stumped. I, I don't remember how to get... Okay, no, I do not. <laughs> oh my god. There are two different elevators and they lead to two completely different areas. So that's why I'm... But I know now. I know, know now. I know where to go. Straight on, straight ahead. Let's go, gentlemen. But yeah, the level design—it's been—it's been really great. It's been intuitive. It hasn't been like complicated or um, confusing. It's been really straightforward. But at the same time, they've been able to pack so much as usual in each level that it just feels so much bigger than it actually is. The traps have been pretty pretty great, pretty stellar. Um, some things are kind of... some ideas are reused, but... I mean, if something works, right? <laughs> One thing I guess people will kind of complain about is the fact that um, I guess we're supposed to do the gesture here on the mat. Are we gonna be turned into stone? Is that what's happening? Mm, not sure. Not sure, not sure, we'll see. But yeah, um, one thing I guess people will be... Oh. 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 Something's happening. Whoa! So exciting. Aha. Uh -huh. 
were traveling over there. I knew it. Well, no, not really, actually. Alright, I just fell asleep. So we're med meditating over there. Some kind of dragon screech. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we ending up? Uh, okay. We're in some kind of valley. But it's daytime and there is no like eclipse in front of the sun anymore. Is this what the Drake, Drake or Dragon Valley from Dark Souls 1 would look like if it was... Oh man. Oh, sweet, thanks. Oh, an item over there. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Is that the... Oops. Sorry about the rocks. Whoever put them there. Whoa. I hear a bell and I see somebody coming. Oh! These guys kind of remind me of the... Uh, Knights in uh, Kanehurst from Bloodborne. Soul of a weary, no weary. I always confuse those two. Whoa, 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 whoa! A dragon statue up top. Several actually. Uh, Arch Dragon Peak. Oh my god! Oh my god! Relentless son of a bitch! Oh my god, okay, um... Wait, loot to your stone? No, wait, I was using the... Uh, the Sun Princess ring, right? Because I'm a cheating bastard. Ooh, ooh. There's a tower over there. Ooh. <sighs> Man. The atmosphere. This is nuts. We can't really see down below. Heavy fog. Somebody's died here. I see an item up top. Fight, man, fight. Don't give up. Oop, sorry about the rocks again. I'm clumsy. Oh man, but yeah, I guess one thing, man, I keep interrupting myself because I just can't finish my train of thought, I hate that. Ooh. Gorgeous view, indeed, my friend. And there we see a couple of bells, or maybe a bell. Okay, now now I'm gonna finish my thought. God damn it! <laughs> Ooh. Um, I guess one thing that maybe will whoa 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 snakes. The, these guys are snakes, like as in imperfect dragons. Oh, I didn't even know that. Oh man, the implications. Ooh. But yeah, oh, for the love of God. <laughs> One thing I guess people won't shit really appreciate. Okay, forget it. We're going around. Um, mm, I guess maybe is the fact that it's a lot more linear this time around. Uh, in Dark Souls 1, you could pretty much like go whichever way you wanted. Um, not much of the way, but you know, it was a bit more um, open. And you were free to kind of experiment and explore and go from area to area and just. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Heal, heal, don't panic. Ooh. 
I knew there was an ambush coming up here, but but now I'm playing it safe. I saw you. Come on. Alright, one more. My friend. He can he, well he can speak. It's crazy. I think. Maybe not. What? There's a bonfire right next to these guys? Uh, okay. <laughs> Tight night chunk. Ooh. Chunky chunky. How many do I have? Three. Hmm. There were those those guys that uh, dropped them. I guess I could go and just farm them for a bit, but this is a shortcut? Not here, yeah. If you wanted to go in, like if you were panicking, you started running and you just like saw this little gate or door, doorway and you just like ran in here and then, oop, death. That's a sneaky little like, <laughs> that's a sneaky little uh, trap. I wonder if those bells don't um, ring every time like another player maybe rings it, just like in Dark Souls 1? Mm, not sure. Uh, but yeah, the level design in Dark Souls 1 it was a lot more like open in terms of where you could go, uh, especially early on. I mean, you could go to the catacombs like pretty much immediately. If you started off as a thief or if you picked the, uh, the key as a... Um, what was it? A gift, I guess. Then you could also uh, go down and visit. Oh yeah, just you know, just go to um, the Great Swamp. I think it was called. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow. Risky bonfire, man. Risky. And you know, if you beat. Um, the Taurus Demon, you could go to... You could go to the... Uh, oh man, I forgot all the names. The, the Dark Root Forest, I think it was called. Here, it's pretty much... You know, you go to the Lothric Castle, you go to the Undead Settlement, you go to the Road of Sacrifices, to the Farron Keep. Crucifixion Woods before that. Um, you have a little branching path there in Crucifixion Woods. You can go to the Cathedral or Farron Keep, but... For the most part, it kind of kind of stays linear, but I think it's I, I think that's fine because whenever you make it, when, whenever you give branching paths to oh, there's a guy up there. I need to be careful. Okay, they're sending a, sending us a message. They're sending us a message. We gotta have a plus seven at least here. Oh, ambush! Ambush! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I missed. Damn it! I missed. This guy is insane. Let me just... Whoa! Let me just not panic. Oh, there he is. The problem with having, like, uh, branching paths is that basically, especially early on, is that you kind of have to have... Um, On. Whoa, key. No, I'm not gonna. This guy is brutal. What? It's okay, I'm not gonna scream, but I wanted to scream. That was insane. Th th this guy is insane. His timings are absolutely ridiculous. I can't backstab him. Oh, but then I can't. I probably can't uh, parry him either. Ah, I was wasting. This guy is insane. Seriously. Seriously, this guy is nuts. Don't tell me this guy responds. It. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> huh? Try lightning, time for ring, okay. Um, I'll be back there in just one. Ooh! Hidden path? Ooh! 
But yeah, when you have branching uh, paths, you pretty much have to dilute the difficulty curve in each area in order to make each area like viable. Otherwise, it can be, you know, it's a bit steep. If like nobody, I don't think that no anybody's gonna like go to um, you know the Gray Swamp or the Catacombs immediately on their first playthrough and like and and be like, oh, okay, this. This difficulty is totally fair and reasonable. I think that, I mean, the option is nice, but I think that most people, like, even though you you can go different routes, you, I mean, the, the game is sending you a very clear message that you're not supposed to, you know, go to, 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 for example, the catacombs. And thus you end up going to um, another area instead. And, I don't know. It works really well in Doctor Who because it adds a lot to player agency. In order, like you, you give them the power to go to the catacombs immediately from the first, from the very beginning of the game, and if they want to, you know, the player can go. It's not, a, not it's not really recommended though, um, but if he wants to, he can. And I guess that freedom is maybe what people maybe are missing in Dark Souls Three. Because here it's, uh, you know, it's a lot more straightforward, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. Oh, I'm in shock. I didn't think that you would be able to open the gate this easily. Huh. Okay. Something awaits beyond there. Well, let me check here. Time for ring. What ring? Ring of sacrifice? Well, okay. I I see one guard. Someone behind him. No, come on! Oh my god! This relentless son of a bitch! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oof. Okay, so I guess if you come down here. The guy that I killed up top here on this little, on that little like, uh, on top of the gate or yeah, little ruin up here. Maybe he like sounds some alarm and then forces the big guy to kind of corner me in here. Um, whoa. Whoa. Lightning clutch ring. Woo! What a what a great tourist attraction this would have been if uh, this was real. Ooh, 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 ooh. The beauty, the beauty. Oh man, I just gotta, uh, I just have to like take it in and just stop and appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess if I had to pick one or the other, I guess I'd prefer Dark Souls ones try jog and then time for lift Ooh, why okay something's coming up up top something is gonna fall down man these are some cool statues kind of remind me of Dragon Ball Z I don't know why all right and then time for lift Okay, 
He can hit his own guy. Good. No. <sighs> I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh my god. No way. Alright, alright, alright. Alright. Don't, don't panic. Twinkling time light. Ooh! Good. I can upgrade my uh, thing. My chaos blade. Okay, let me just. Let me just take a second and figure this out. He's weak against lightning, right? But I don't have any pine resin anymore. I have lightning urn, but... Mm, damn it. I don't have any solution to this conundrum. Ancient dragon shield. A wooden shield bearing the image of an ancient dragon. Slowly regenerates MP. HP, sorry. The painting is the result of an ex exquisite but painstaking technique. Lingering, undying traces of an of the ancient dragons can still be se seen in their descendants. The man serpents, uh, though they have fallen far from Greece. We also saw man serpents in uh, in Sense Fortress and in Seath's kind of domain. Or domains. I shouldn't have done this. Concentrate, come on. How the hell do I beat this guy? Wait. Time for plunging attack. So I can climb up somewhere and plunge down on him? killed me there, just by clipping Wait, the bell? Are you serious? Why, why would you put it here? Why would you put it here? You pricks! Ah, damn it, there's no like item that hints to what I'm supposed to do. Okay, I'm totally stuck, I have no idea. Ember. Uh, treasure ahead. No, no, please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall. Okay, um, I'm I'm confused. I really am. I don't know. Uh, I do not know what what it is they want me to do. It's a boss apparently as well. Be wary of ambush. Yeah. That, try dashing through, then jump attack required ahead. Try jog, then time for left. What? Jump attack? What, on the bell? My god, what a cool fucking boss. Oof. Wait, you can go? Hmm, let's see. Ember. Stock, okay. It's pathetically pointless, but okay. But it is weird how they would bring a steel protection. Hey, that's raises defense. Uh. Oh no, 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 this is weird. This is so weird. Why would you put the, that many items here unless there was something important that you wanted the player to see? I am horribly confused. Hitting his head doesn't seem to do much. Hitting his nice thing does even less. Okay. No, this is this is ridiculous. What am I doing? I don't know. I I, I am. Ah, souls. Right. Okay. Alright. So if I go here. Still had me. Nightmare. Right. Okay. 
So they're sending me a message. Here's my. But he's. See people dying over there, but eleven. Eleven damage. Okay. Okay. Aha! How did I miss this? Okay, there's a little room here, or pathway even. Huh. Okay, he died fighting them. Oh, ambush. That makes sense. Nope. Oh, I could have died. Oh my god, those enemies are insane. Um, okay. So this is how we're supposed to beat them, by plunging attacks, like that message said. Be wary of left. Because of the ambush? No, oh, come on! Of course. Try luring it out. Try plunging attack. Ah, oh God! This is a this is a joke. This is a puzzle. Okay, I get it. I get it. It's a puzzle. It's a cool puzzle. I think maybe maybe not. I don't know. What's up here? Be aware of duo. Yeah, I see him. Thanks. No. Not the. Where's the other guy? There should be two of them, right? Ah, oh, screw it. If there is one more, then I'll worry about him when I see him. familiar with this pattern. Tight night. Whoa. We have enough to upgrade. Oh, we had that a long time ago, actually. Oh my god, this guy. Ah, stupid. Bad heal. Bad heal. Oh god. Lightning bolt. Yeah, I, thanks. No lightning arrows, I suppose. Okay, but... but that was a... How, how was that not a... A backstab? Okay. Oh man, so far this area is not on my side at all. It's a puzzle, I get it, but... Never really been a fan of um, kind of gimmick fights, I guess. Oh, okay. But how? He, he just shot through the. Okay. You know what? I'm not gonna. <laughs> he, he heard. I think he heard. That's cool. That's cool. Whoa. Wow. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't like these kind of gimmick puzzle battles, puzzle boss battles. Not the biggest fan, but. All right. So that okay. So that that dragon basically just serves as a. Like he's the one pushing you forward. You're not supposed to fight him. He, you're just supposed. He's he's there just to like c kind of prompt you to continue on with the level. But I don't know. That's not very intuitive, considering that he like flies and like he lands right in front of you, and he's so big. I mean, you just you're just so scared the first time. Mm, okay, I don't know. Fuck it. Fuck it. Um, so we're following this path. Of course he hits me. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not feeling it. Though. The odds are stacked so much, like so much against you that like two of these guys drop down here. Yeah, I don't know. This isn't. I'm sure it's just me. I don't care about the souls I lost, by the way. Don't don't care. But. Oh god. All right. All right. Let me just take a deep breath. Okay. I can do this. It's fine. It's a gimmick fight, but. That's cool. To mix things up, you know. It'd be kind of boring if everything was the same. Uh, okay. This guy lands. Stomps. I turn left. Alright, so what do I do now? Do I fight them all or do I just keep running? Or because if I don't, if I just leave them, I'm gonna regret it. I know. I know. Oh god, stop. Oh god. Of course. <laughs> oh my god. Of course he managed to get that attack off. Of course this. Ah, annoyed, annoyed. This isn't my kind of stuff. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Okay. <laughs> it's so insane that you're fighting multiple of these guys who can basically take you out single-handedly, but there's multiple. And now I have to go up there and kill that guy. Oh, okay. oh is that a parry? Oh, okay. <sighs> not gonna lie, this this is not my kind of. <sighs> uh, I don't know. This is. I don't know. I'm just not having fun. Um, those guys attack so relentlessly. They, like, they get get it. Like, they enter this kind of flurry mode, this frenzy mode, where they just unleash way too many consecutive attacks in a row, and they can basically just kill you with it. They can just stun like you, kill you, kill you with it. Or I guess they, they don't really stun like you. Just don't really have the will to evade it. But I don't know. I'm not enjoying this at all. And they have long necks, so they have insane reach as well. Ugh. Ugh. Come on.
Yeah. This is the first time during the, that, this entire playthrough where I've felt like... This is just dull. Fighting Aldrich and Abyss Watchers? Those fights made me cry. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, they broke me. But they were still fun because I still felt like, okay, I'm learning the patterns, I'm figuring this boss fight out. There's something I'm missing, some key aspect to the fight that I'm not really grasping yet. But this, this is just... These little like man serpent guys have so much health. Uh. And there's basically like four hits really. Like why? Why couldn't it just have been three? Uh, why pad out their he their health pools that much? If you're gonna have so many like cramped up in one one area, it feels like you should balance it out with making like letting them have a little less health or you know giving them some obvious weak point or you know something to kind of balance everything out. This is just tedious. They're not hard individually, but. Let's see if I can parry these guys. Maybe that's, make, that's what makes it... No. I thought he was gonna... Where is the... Oh, this is it's this guy. Okay. Uh, okay, it's that far away. Oh. Try plunging it back. Try luring it out. God, this <sighs> it feels like this is oh my god oh my god this is such an insane encounter it feels like it never ends it feels endless it's not endless I know that but this side, right? Over here. I completely forgot. Now I get the backstab. Let's see if I can get the backstab on the other guy as well. Oh, okay. Guess I was running a bit too fast there. I got a bit, 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 just a tad bit anxious. Just a tad, tad bit uh, impatient. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill out. Oh my god, I guess that was the guy with the uh, the axe chain thing. Hey buddy. Okay, I saw how I missed. That's fine, I guess. What? What? From the other side of the map, really? Okay. I was hoping I would be able to stagger him. I like that. Man, this area, or this boss encounter, I don't know, call it whatever you want. Oh, okay, now we can... The, the, uh, wait, uh, uh, no, I don't get 
this. I don't get this design at all. I don't. I don't like this. Like, let, let me let this let this be a calamity fight. That was an incredible boss fight. This is not. I don't want this. This is. At least I'm invincible from the, from the dragon fire. Oh, uh, Titan Track, sweet. Oh! They put a torch there to kind of lead you to. Lead you up here, I suppose? Um, no, wait. No, yeah. Looks like this is part of the bus. bus now I'm supposed to jump down here. Weakness, head. Plunging attack. Time for jump attack, but be aware you'll slip up. Yeah. What? What's going on? Uh, what? I don't want to leave this area yet. Please put me back there. Uh, wh wh why? Why are you doing this? Okay, where, where am I? I'm on the bridge? Yeah, looks like it. Look, that's where we started the game. Or. This is where this is where we kind of arrived at the whole Arch Dragon Peak um, area. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Oh, there's a there's a path here. Whoa. Tough enemy ahead. Okay. Thanks for the warning. Ah, man, that encounter. I don't know. Me. I <sighs> what? I can't rest. Fuck it. Whoa. Hey! Rick. 